Hi there, I'm Chris Heilman and I quickly want to explain how this sidebar is done as people keep asking me what kind of dark magic this is and what's going on there. There's no YUI involved, there's no jQuery involved, there's no Flash involved. All I'm doing is a CSS 3D transformation and a CSS transition to get that effect. And I think it's quite cute because it shows you that the sidebar belongs to the content. So let's take a look at how that's done. Let's inspect the element here and open the HTML so you can see what's going on. So I've got a link inside a div with a ID called head and a div with the ID called page list. This is all part of my layout. And then I have a div with the ID of rotation. This is only in there to give that effect. This is dirty, this is non-semantic HTML, but this is my blog, I don't care. I just wanted to do something quickly that looks fun. This also is inside a div called sidebar or SB with the class of YUIB, which uses the YUI grids to do the main layout of my blog. So I have a lot of HTML to play with to apply some CSS to. So let's take a look at that. The first thing that you do when you do a, a 3D transformation is give it a perspective. So in this case, the sidebar element gets an 800 pixel perspective. This means it's 800 pixels away from the screen and I can position that sidebar anywhere in these 800 pixels. So if I made, for example, 200 pixels, then the 3D effect would be, would be much more brutal. Uh, that doesn't look right, so we just kept it in an 800 pixel. Uh, 800 to 1000 is always a good value if you want to do some 3D transformations. Now, the rotation element right now is rotated minus 15 degrees around the y-axis and, and has a transformation of one second. The transform means that it goes from one state to another in a smooth way without me doing any uh, calculation or anything out there. I just told the browser like, hey, I'm doing something to you. And the other state that you will get on the hover in this case, do that within one second rather than like immediately. And that's why it looks smooth. So I could actually rotate this to another angle. So I could say like if it's my 45 degrees, for example, or 55 degrees, then the whole effect looks much more brutal and it's a bit annoying. So I just kept it very, very subtle with minus 15 degrees. Of course, you can rotate around the other axes as well. So if I do a minus 15 degrees on Z, then it actually would rotate that thing in this case. But this is even more annoying. So and it didn't get the whole like get into my content from the sidebar effect. You can also rotate it around the, uh, the x-axis, which means it actually tilts it towards you um, horizontally a bit. So you can see this right now, and that goes back to the main effect right now. So, okay, 15 degrees, y-axis, thought I would that looked like a good idea. Now, what does that look like in the CSS? Let's take a look at the uh, style editor now. So all I have here is I have a sidebar with a position of relative, and then I set the perspectives of all the different browsers out there. So Mozilla, Microsoft, Opera, WebKit, and the perspective in case we all don't need these prefixes anymore. The rotation thing, the same thing, rotate Y minus 15 degrees for all the browsers and the transition for one second on the MS transform or O transform or Mozilla transform property. And then on the hover, I just set the rotation to zero degrees. That's it. So with a few lines of CSS, you can actually do some quite neat little effect that turns a few heads. Um, that's how it's done. So if you want to do that, go for it.